And I yield back. Gentleman yields back. Chair does not recognize himself. Quote, Mr. Weiss has full authority to bring cases in other jurisdictions if he feels it's necessary. That was your response, Attorney General, to Senator Grassley's question on March 1st, 2023. You just referenced it when Mr. Bishop was questioning you. Only problem is he'd already been turned down by the U.S. Attorney in the District of Columbia, Mr. Graves. So he didn't have full authority, did he? I had an extended conversation with uh, Senator Grassley at the time. We briefly touched on the Section 515 question and how that process went. I'm, I have my never been suggested. Simple. My point's real simple, Mr. Garland. You said he had complete authority, but he'd already been turned down. He wanted to be. bring an action in the District of Columbia, and the U.S. Attorney there said, no, you can't. And then you go tell the United States Senate under oath that he has complete authority. I'm going to say again that uh, no one had the authority to turn him down. They could refuse uh, to partner with him. They could you not. You can use whatever you, you, language. They, refuse to partner is turning down. Well, it's not the same under a well-known Justice Department practice. Here's why the statute of limitations question is important and Mr. Bishop was getting at just a few minutes ago. Here's why it's important. You let the statute of limitations lapse for 2014, 2015. Those were the years with the felony tax charges where Hunter Biden was getting uh, income from Burisma. Here are four facts that I think are so important. Hunter Biden was put on the board of Burisma, made a lot of money, got paid a lot of money over those years. A couple million bucks. He wasn't qualified. Fact number two, he wasn't qualified to be on the board of Burisma. Not my words, his words. He said he got on the board because of his last name. The brand, as Devin Archer said, when he was under oath and we deposed him. Fact number three, Burisma executives told Hunter Biden, we're under pressure, we need help. Fact number four, Joe Biden goes to Ukraine, leverages our tax money. American people's tax money to get the prosecutor fired who was applying the pressure. Interestingly enough, that fact is entirely consistent with what the confidential human source told the FBI and they recorded in the 1023 form. The same form Mr. Ray didn't want to let this committee and the Congress see. That all happened. That all happened. And what I'm wondering is why you guys let the statute of limitations lapse for those tax years that dealt with Burisma income. There's one more fact that's important, and that is that this investigation was being conducted by Mr. Weiss, an appointee of President Trump. You will, at the appropriate time, have the opportunity to ask Mr. Weiss that question, and he will no doubt address it in the public report that will be transmitted to the Congress. I don't know the answer to Did those they questions. Forget? Did the lawyers just like let it, they just like, oh, Darn, we let it. Did they, were they careless? I expect that won't be what he says, but because I you promise. You know that's not the case. Because as Mr. Bishop pointed out, they had a tolling agreement. They had, they talked to Hunter Biden's defense counsel and say, let's extend the statute of limitations. And then at some point, they made an intentional decision to say, we're going to let the statute of limitations lapse. And I want to know who decided that and why they did it. Mr. Weiss was a supervisor of the investigation at that time and at all times. He made the necessary appropriate decisions, and you'll be able to ask him that question, and he will. You know why they did it. Everyone knows why they did it. You may not say it, but everyone knows why they did it. They did Burisma, those tax years. That's that. That dealt with the pre, that involved the president. It's one thing to have a gun charge in Delaware. That doesn't involve the president of the United States. But Burisma, oh my, that goes right to the White House. We can't have that. And we can slow walk this thing along. We can even extend the statute of limitations, and then we can intentionally let it lapse. And we know this investigation was slow. Here's what everyone said. Shapley said, DOJ slow walked the investigation. Ziegler, slow walking and the approvals of everything. This happened at the Delaware's attorney's office and DOJ tax level. Mr. Sobosinski, the FBI agent, said, I would have liked to see things move faster. Ms. Holly said the same. Every witness we've talked to said this thing was slow walked, and we know why. They slow walked it long enough to let the statute of limitations run so they wouldn't have to get into Burisma. Tell me where I'm wrong. Will the gentleman yield? No, I'm asking the, uh, Mr. Garland the question. I think I've tried to make clear that I don't know the specifics of the investigation. Much of what you are describing occurred uh, during the Trump administration, during a uh, Justice Department appointed by President Trump. No, it didn't. This is four and a half years of this investigation. We're talking about the last few years. Your statement was just this year, March 1st, to, to Senator Grassley. No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I was trying to respond to your descriptions of what the uh, IRS um, um, uh, agent said about certain the statute things. Statute of limitations is six years. That lapsed. 
that lapse here in, in, the, in the Biden on administration. The, on the statute of limitations, I um, will say again that the explanation for why the statute of limitation was lapsed, if it was, has to come from Mr. Weiss. My time is this. Let me ask one, la- one last question real quick here. Uh, who decided that David Weiss would stay on as U.S. attorney? Look, uh, this had occurred at, before I came. Mr. Weiss had been uh, kept on. I promised the uh, – uh, No, I didn't say – you can walk all through that. I said who decided? The White House decided. Mr. Weiss right? – They serve at the pleasure of the uh, president, right? Mr. Weiss was – Joe Biden decided to keep David Weiss as U.S. attorney. Uh, you weren't sworn in until March. He was – he was – he was – he, 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 he was told he was, he was going to stay on in February. Your time has expired. Pretty fundamental question. Who decided David Weiss was going to stay as U.S. Attorney in Delaware? Mr. Mr. Weiss, Chairman, your time, time has expired. Mr. Chairman, your time has expired. I'm waiting for an answer now, and I'll yield. Well, then you asked the question after your time had expired already. Point of order. Gentleman can respond, then I'll go to Ms. Jackson Lee. Mr. Weiss was the um, a special uh, uh, U.S. attorney from the District of Delaware when I came on. He had been appointed by President Trump. I promised that he would be permitted to stay on for this investigation, and that is what happened. The floor is recognized five minutes. I guess I'm just wondering, Mr. Attorney General, has anyone at the department told President Biden to knock it off with Hunter? I mean, you guys are charging Hunter Biden on some crimes, investigating him on, on others. You've got the president bringing Hunter Biden around to state dinners. Has anyone told him to knock it off? Our job in the Justice Department is to pursue our cases without reference uh, to what's happening in the outside world. But just yes or no, have you and done that? That is what we do. So it's a no? No one that I know of has spoken to the White House about the Hunter Biden case. I'm wondering that. Of not. Okay, I got it. I got it. So Hunter Biden is selling art to pay for his $15,000 a month rent in Malibu. How can you guarantee that the people buying that art aren't doing so to gain favor with the president? The job of the Justice Department is to investigate criminal allegations. We have information. Are you investigating this? I mean, someone who bought Hunter Biden's art ended up with a prestigious appointment to a federal position. Doesn't it look weird that he's making, he's become this immediate success in the art world as his dad is president of the United States? Isn't that odd? I'm not going to comment about any specific. Not going to comment, not going to investigate. So right. Hunter Biden associate Devin Archer told us that Hunter sold the appearance of access to then Vice President Biden. Are you confident he has stopped doing that? I'm sorry, I didn't understand the question. Hunter Biden associate Devin Archer told us that Hunter sold the appearance of access to then Vice President Biden. Are you confident he has stopped? I'm going to say again that all these matters are within the purview of Mr. Weiss. I have not interfered with them, and yeah, I do if not. If you were confident that he had stopped, you could. And I do not intend to interfere with him. I want to. So it was a lot of Chinese money that was working its way through these shell companies into the accounts of the Biden family. So the China initiative was set up during the Trump administration at the Department of Justice to go after the malign influence of of the Chinese Communist Party. And the Biden Justice Department dissolved the China initiative. So I guess I'm wondering, does the department have any documents uh, that would detail the basis for why you got rid of the China initiative that President Trump had set up. The Assistant Attorney General for the National Security Division gave a long speech which explained that. He has testified before Congress several times. We'd be happy to provide you with What's the, the basis? Just tell us all now. What, what, why was the China initiative dissolved? What, uh, uh, the, what the Assistant Attorney General said was that we face attacks from four nation states, North Korea, China, Russia, and Iran, and that we need to focus our attention on the broad range of these attacks. Sometimes we but, don't but, but wait know. A second. You don't, are you saying that North Korea has the same malign influence risk to the United States as the Chinese Communist Party? Are you, are you trying to represent there's some parity there? Because cause here's what it looks like. It looks like the Chinese gave all this money to the Bidens, and then you guys came in and got rid of the China initiative, and it was successful. Like, I, I saw one rationale that you guys got rid of the China initiative because it was racial profiling. But, but one of the people you convicted was a guy named Charles Lieber, who was a Harvard professor taking $50,000 a month to do China's bidding and give them whatever research was being done. Are, are you aware of the millions of dollars that moved through Rob Walker's shell companies from Chinese Communist Party entities into Biden family bank accounts? Are you aware of that? 
There were a lot of questions that you just asked. Let me start with the first one about North Korea. North Korea is a dangerous actor, both kinetically and with respect to cyber. But not on par with China. I'm on I'm the not, armed services I'm not committee, in the Mr. Business Attorney right General. Now of it's, okay, it's, it I, makes I, you look I, unserious to suggest may that. May I answer your question? Or answer the question about whether or not you know about all the millions of dollars that we Well, you don't want me to answer into. about North Korea. I already know the answer, and so does everyone. They're not the same risk as China. So let's get on to serious questions and serious answers. Do you know about the money that moved through Rob Walker's shell companies, yes or no? As I have said repeatedly, I have left these matters to Mr. Weiss. I've not intruded. I've not interfered. I've not tried to find out what he knows. It's like you're looking the other way on purpose because everybody knows this stuff's happening. And you know what? People don't pay bribes to not get something in return. Right. We, the, the China initiative resulted in the convictions of a Harvard professor, of someone at Monsanto. So we were working against the Chinese. They paid the Bidens. And now we're, now you're sitting here telling me that I'm, North Korea is the big threat. I'm I got to get to this one thing on January. Well, 6th. I, I, so did the FBI, did the FBI lose count of the number of paid informants on January 6th? Let me did answer you? your question about China. I China want you to answer this question. Most... I only get five minutes. You've already you, sort of, I think, asked the a pooch on China. You so permitted. January 6th, did you lose count of the number of federal assets? Did you lose count and order an audit? Gentlemen's time has expired. I, I get an answer to the question of did, he, did they lose count? Well, let him answer the question. The time has expired. The, the Attorney General can respond. China is the most aggressive, most dangerous Mr. adversary Mr. General, the United States the... faces, and we are doing everything within our power to rebut that, to stop that, to prevent their invasions, both kinetic, both um, and through cyberspace. And we will continue to do that. If someone gave that answer in your courtroom when you were a judge, you would tell them they were being non-responsive and you would direct them to answer the question. Point of order, Your Honor. Time is... uh,